Our communities are beginning to show their age. The signs are all around us. Crumbling infrastructure, parks that have lost their sense of purpose, homes that are getting older and losing energy, and yards that have been abandoned for the many TVs and computer screens in our home. These issues are compounded by increasing economic disparity and climate change. And a growing population that feels disconnected is putting pressure on both the physical infrastructure and our ecosystems. It sounds pretty dismal and overwhelming, doesn't it? But in three Toronto area neighbourhoods, a unique concept called the Sustainable Neighbourhood Retrofit Action Plan, or SNAP, is coming to the rescue. SNAP brings teams together from different sectors to not just revitalize infrastructure and restore ecosystem health, but to rebuild the heart of the community. In County Court, Black Creek and Lake Wilcox, change is happening on many levels. The changes being made through SNAP are shifting how people feel about their neighbourhoods. SNAP inspires all of us to reclaim responsibility for taking care of our neighbourhoods to be more resilient for the ever-changing storms ahead. This resilience is gathering strength by reaching back to the roots of each neighbourhood and identifying a key vulnerability that the community is facing. Rather than avoiding these liabilities, SNAP reframes them as portals to fresh innovation and opportunities for unfolding change. These are stories of change that will guide us towards the health and well-being of people, nature and a new economic vitality. County Court has rich roots. Developments have now grown and matured, and in many ways, it's time for renewal and a reconnection between neighbours. Home improvements that include energy conservation and low maintenance landscaping spark the interest of local residents. So SNAP developed the Green Home Makeover. Forging partnerships with both the public and private sectors, the Green Home Makeover retrofitted all the major systems in a typical suburban home. This is a demonstration project for neighbourhood-wide retrofit programs which are now being delivered. Some of the initiatives we're working on with the TRCA and the County Court neighbourhood include a comprehensive park retrofit, a stormwater management pond retrofit and golf course irrigation tanks that take stormwater from the community and use it to water the golf courses and reduce water use within the, in the neighbourhood. It's just a great opportunity to concentrate efforts in one place and show it how how all these efforts that we're doing across the city can be instrumental in making change to the to neighborhood. In coming years, we expect to reduce residential water use by 31% and residential energy by 39%. Lake Wilcox is a kettle lake in Richmond Hill. The lake first became a summer retreat in the 1830s and since has evolved from a small cottage community to a rapidly growing suburban enclave. The town has taken many positive steps and now SNAP is helping homeowners to take action on their own properties. With innovative approaches to outdoor living, nature is finding its way back into people's lives. Here we see landscaping that marries contemporary design with the latest in ecologically sound technologies and practices. Well, the goal of the Front Yard Makeover is to inspire homeowners to create their own garden retreats. It can increase their property values, it can reduce their utility bills, and it'll help keep Lake Wilcox healthy and beautiful. One of our goals is water conservation, saving water, and these Front Yard Makeovers tie in directly with that goal to help us meet our targets. SNAP hopes to set a trend for residential eco-landscaping. It starts with a science-based approach to know what will work for the soil, water and ecology of this neighbourhood. Combined with human imagination and stylish designs appealing to both cottagers and busy commuters. By landscaping 50% of lots in this neighbourhood, we will meet our goals for protecting the water quality of Lake Wilcox and doubling the tree cover on residential streets. When we think of Toronto's Jane and Finch area, we don't normally think of eco-lifestyles or nature-led designs. This urban location of rich cultural diversity is returning to its roots, food. Because this is a site of strong community activism, food is taking on a role of advocacy and skill building. Food requires gardening, and gardening crosses the lines of cultural groups, which brings new Canadians together in their community. This neighbourhood has a vital need and a tremendous opportunity for pioneering in the emerging green economy. Food production and the need for a low-cost water supply are creating exciting change in the Jane and Finch area. 
in homes, these interests start the dialogue about rainwater harvesting techniques and other flood prevention actions available but not commonly known. The only thing we need to do is to encourage them to plant at home to in any little space that they have. And as we start, said before, that it, it can grow anywhere. You know, we can have our little green space anywhere. It doesn't have to be just in backyards and so forth. Like how we just think about it and put it in the churchyard too. They can find little spaces at their home to do their own gardening. It's a dream come true for the University Presbyterian Church to know that we can help to be a part of the community and bring on that inclusiveness to see um, parents and families coming together in doing healthy things and eating healthier. That's, that's our dream and it's come true and we're really grateful for TRCA to help us to help our dream come true for the community. 20% of the community's vegetables will come from community gardens like this and will achieve a 30% reduction in stormwater runoff through measures like rainwater harvesting and reuse. Three snaps, three different stories, but they share some key lessons. SNAP provides a unique continuum through time. The SNAP process allows people to have their own epiphany of what the future can be like and how we can start that process today. SNAP also provides measurable outcomes and incorporates follow-up monitoring so we can share that data with our partners and develop best practices in many areas. These pilot projects provide a trigger for change in older neighbourhoods and outdated infrastructure. They signal a new frontier in partnership between landowners, municipalities and new public-private relationships. With one of the most significant relationships being the one between people and nature. Finally, these SNAPs provide authentic reasons for hope, as well as a sense of belonging to a neighbourhood that is investing in its future. So we are excited that two new municipalities, Markham and Mississauga, are also discovering how SNAP can help achieve their objectives. So what is a SNAP? It is a revitalization, restoration, rebuilding and reclaiming. It is an invitation to new possibilities a reframing of neighbourhood vulnerabilities and a gateway to renewed partnerships between people and nature that is alive with opportunity. Yay! Woo! <laughs> and an award winner already. Thank you to our many partners on the journey so far.